What's going on? I am the goods on YouTube, TG So Good Actually, everywhere yeah. else. Yeah. Beat in the background by my boy Natural910. Go look him up on YouTube. You guys can find him. Anyway, let's jump into how do we select mascots using Blacktop Plus? You gotta have Blacktop Plus. First thing you want to do, you want to load up whatever roster you're going to use. Me, today I'm just going to use the default roster, so let's get in here. Going to go full court. You want to pick all the players that, that you want. That's the first thing you want to do. Let me let these players load up. As you can see, we've got the players on our screen. Next thing you want to do, you want to hit the button for the Blacktop Plus menu to come up. So let's do it. Then you want to go to Clothing. Don't go to Manage. Go to Select. I'm going to go ahead and have Mike Conley be a mascot. And once you select the player, this menu comes up, all your clothing and all of that. But you wanna pick mascots at the top and then you can choose the skeleton or any of the mascots that are currently available in game. So a lot of you wanted to know how to pick this Fury or you called it a Fury, I don't know. But it's a Husky, it's a Yukon Husky. So we're gonna pick that for Conley. Then next up, you wanna back out of this, then pick another player. We're gonna do, uh, let's do Bam Adebayo, pick a mascot for him. So the first few, first is the skeleton, then you have a few high, not high school, I'm sorry, college mascots. And then you can also pick the NBA mascots. Now, if you know how to get mascots from older games, you can use those too. If you know how to put them in your modded folder, I'm not gonna go over any of that, but the ones you see here are the ones you can select from. All right, so we got them. Got the two mascots. And then from there, you just back out of here, you will select the stadium you wanna use. By the way, I just did a tutorial on how to get your stadium menu to look like this. How you can add the thumbnails and add new gyms and all of that. Let's pick a new gym. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen some of these, but uh, do, 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 do. for the video's sake, I'm going to select this one. All right, so I'm selecting one that I, a gym that I already have a video on that I made in the past. So we're going to get right into this game. I'm keeping the video very short for you guys. So again, if you want to know how to do those hidden and modded gems, you guys got to go check out my channel. I have so many videos about this. All right. So we got a custom camera. I already did a video about that. I actually like the lighting on the mascots in here. Jared Allen. This is Conley, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up for three. Green, bam. Oh, you know what? I need to do a video. All right, so you guys tell me, should I do a video on how to get the jump shot landing animations in Blacktop? I know you guys will be very interested in that. I'll just tell you right now to all my uh, dribble heads, I'm not a dribble head, but all my dribble gods and stuff like that, I'm gonna give you a hint. Ah, I couldn't do it with them. But anyway, I'll give you a hint. All the animations that you can apply to a player, if you if you go into my career and apply all the animations that you want to a player as far as like taunts and um, jump shot landings, I guess the three point animations and stuff that you can uh, apply. You apply those in my career and bring your my player to blacktop and your my player will do all the same animations plus you don't even have to make your player a 99 in my career anyway i'm gonna stop talking we'll do another video on that later all right guys i am out this video is up i showed you how to get the mascots let's get it e